Okay, folks, today's drive will take us up into Massachusetts. And um, <clears throat> let's go do a little work on uh, the station playlist setup. So that'll be fun. Maybe we'll uh, post a video of the station playlist setup so people have some idea of uh, how to program the thing. Trust me, I'm learning as I go, but uh, it's... It's an interesting uh, program. We use it for hit oldies and our WBLQ time machine. So here we go. Today is uh, Steve's Travels, day number, what, four, I think. All we gotta do is get the other video up onto YouTube and uh, we'll be good to go. YouTube is uh, does give us a little bit of uh, hassle sometimes. Anyway, our trip today will take us up Route 8 to uh, Interstate 84, and then we'll go to Hartford, go up um, 91, and um, that'll take us up into Mass, and that's where we'll uh, head up to today. Beautiful day, lots of sunshine, we had a little bit of rain overnight, but uh, nothing really to write home about, and hopefully now that we're in March, it won't be long, and the weather will uh, drastically improve. Oh, so, uh, well, this this guy's a moron. Just cut over into this lane would have run me off the road. Jeez. Anyway, enjoy this. This is a pretty drive, and uh, hopefully everybody will enjoy this. Let's hear the radio and see what's going on. Code Buck to get 35% off your first deferred order, ship to you absolutely free. That's balanceofnature.com, promo code Buck. Have you ever felt depressed about work? Only to have your dad be like, why are you so down? So you told him you hate your job, and he said, well, you better talk yourself out of it. And then you thought, hmm, I love to talk, I could host a podcast. And then you went to Spreaker from iHeart, started a podcast, and got good at it, then monetized it, and quit your boring job, and told your dad, thanks for the advice. And he was like, well, that's not what I meant, and I don't understand what a podcast is, but you seem happy, so that's great, kiddo. You ever do that? Well, you could. That's Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E Ask your dad. You actually don't. Hey, if your mobility is like it used to be or you're living with nagging pain, you need to make an appointment with our friends at Trinity Rehab. They'll restore your freedom, get you pain-free, cutting-edge, state-of-the-art physical therapy that will improve your life. They can use things like the EPAP machines, FDA-approved, non-surgical, acoustical, pressure-wave technology, breaks up that scar tissue, enhances healing, gets rid of pain fast, really effective for back, neck, knee pain, tennis elbow, plantar fasciitis, shoulder tendonitis. For most people, three five-minute sessions and then pain-free. They use it for Olympic athletes, professional football teams, use it for injuries. You don't need a prescription. Trinity Rehab has 35 clinics. They are all over New Jersey. There's one near you that just opened in Hackensack and Wyckoff. Call them at 800-518-0977. 800-518-0977. Or go to their website. It's trinity-rehab.com. Take a look at it. trinity-rehab.com. Hey, New York Remodeling Pros. Win the jobs you want most with the 3D tools built into House Pro software. That's H-O-U-Z-Z -Z Pro. With House Pro, you can easily show prospective clients in 3D what their finished project will look like. See why pros like you are raving about how House Pro 3D tools are helping them win jobs, upsell customers, and get more referrals. So, go to House Pro. That's H-O-U-Z-Z -Z Pro. Online or in the App Store. And try 3D for free today. With NJ Dyke, that only takes 40 days to lose, contractually guaranteed 20 to 40 plus pounds. Now their program uses hair, saliva, and oh, bioenergetic to scans to, to personalize donuts. natural formulas and supplements where the side effect is weight loss. And then NJ Diet, they use your DNA info to help you keep the weight off. I lost over 20 pounds, 40 days, Wait, up to 40 pounds. 855-5NJ-DIET. When Dr. Lieberman came to New York from Harvard, 97% of women in New York were losing their breasts as breast cancer treatment. But 90% of Dr. Lieberman's patients were breast cancer. 
outspoken advocate of breastfading therapy, educated women about choices to arm every woman about breast cancer, choices breastfading whenever possible and desired. When every hospital thought standard radiation was okay, Dr. Lederman had a better idea. Innovative Dr. Lederman first brought Dr. brain Lederman radio surgery quack, to New York. He's always on the radio, radio boasting America. about his Dr. cancer treatment. Breast conserving therapy over decades. 1384 Broadway at 38. Call 212 Choices. 212 Choices about breast cancer treatment. Most insurances for a fresh second opinion. Call Dr. Lederman. Breast cancer treatment. Call 212 Choices. 212 Choices. Call Dr. Lederman today. 212 Choices. Lotto.com is the quickest and most convenient way to play the lottery from anywhere. Visit Lotto.com today. Hey, hey, this is John O'Brien, entrepreneur and fellow builder, just like you. Thanks for the help of our heart Building the good life, where each week a special friend and I will break down the unveil the mystery of how you build. So if you're ready to build like you never thought you could before, the best version of you, make sure to listen every Friday on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. The midterms are coming, so they have to make it over. Yeah, don't you understand? The virus is still there. Now they can take off all the mask restrictions. Don't worry about, you know, they're, they're not worried about, they don't put the numbers out anymore. Because the midterms are coming up and Democrats have to say, well, we defeated it. No, the virus is still there. It's exactly like it was last year. But see, after they destroyed the economy, after they absolutely wrecked everything, put so many companies out of business, they have to say, oh, we defeated COVID-19 so that they think that they can convince people to vote for them once again. People, stop voting Democrat. Just stop. If you would stop voting Democrat, we'd stop having these stupid things happen. You know, the GOP never would have shut the economy down. And we wouldn't have had what we had. Oh, sure, we'd have had the deaths. They still would have happened. But people wouldn't have lost their livelihoods. I mean, how stupid can you be? You didn't hear me preach a lot. kids
Yeah. I mean, I can hear Mark Simone talk about this and that and be nice and polite and say, oh, is the pandemic over? No, hell no, it is not over. And you people need to stop. Does that mean you can take your masks off? Masks don't work. People get the virus anyway. Why were you wearing a mask in the first place other than you're scared half to fucking death? Fuck it up! Stop it! You people who are scared to death. I mean, come on. You know something? Your next breath isn't guaranteed. Your next breath is not guaranteed. And I mean whether you're sick or whether you're well. You could be in tip-top shape today. And you could be dead tonight. Or you could never wake up again tomorrow. It's just how it is. That's just life. And death. Everybody dies. You need to to understand that and you need to stop being afraid of it although there is this caveat if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior you've got a lot to worry about because how you spend eternity is really dependent upon whether you accept the savior or not and you the audience need to understand that You know, Jesus, Jesus came into this world with one purpose, to save mankind from its own sin, because God so loved the world and the human beings that he created that he sent his only son, that who would ever believe in him might not die but have eternal life. Hi, I'm getting up here. Yes, I'd like a large hot coffee, extra light with cream, six equals, and a shot of French vanilla, please. Would that be That's it. Two eighty nine. And that, kids, is the truth. That's exactly how life is. We were all meant. We were all born to die. Now that may sound like a really depressing thought, but it's the truth. We were all born to die. Because at some point, we will pass away. And when we pass away, when this physical body is done, we will make an accounting for all the things that we did and all the things that we failed to do. Did we stand up for human rights? Did we stand up for the rights of individuals, of all races, of all creeds, of all colors? Did we live our life in such a way that we were honest, that we were true, that we were good, that we stood up for the proper principles, and I mean the principles of what God intended us to do. Did we treat our fellow human beings with respect and dignity? All these things matter. Did you behave? Or were you a sexual pig? Oh, you don't want you don't like that part, do you? You don't want me to talk about the part where God says man should not lie with another man as one would lie with a beast. This is an abomination unto the Lord. Well, the words are right there. I mean, why would someone do that? That is absolutely filthy and disgusting. And to go along with that, why are, why are Americans especially absolutely obsessed about sex. Why? Isn't there more to life than the lust of the flesh? Oh, you now I've made some enemies. Now people hate me. And that's fine. You, you can hate me. You can hate me all you want. It does not change the fact of the matter or the truth of uh, the Word of God. Needless to say, Jesus did say, help the poor. 
Jesus did say to love thine enemies. Love your neighbor as yourself. When we say love thine enemies, that doesn't mean you go give uh, Vladimir Putin a hug. That means you treat your enemies with the same respect that you would treat anyone else. You might win your neighbor over. You might win your enemy over. You never know. But you must protect your own family you must protect your own country. And if that means we end up going to war, then that means we end up going to war. Some things are worth fighting for. And the poor people of Ukraine, that's worth fighting for, kids. Don't worry about nuclear war because the leader of Russia, Vladimir Putin, is not a stupid man. All right. Let's see what else on the radio gets me fired up. Hi, Ari. Hi, good and you? Good, thank you. All right. Hi. All right, take care. And see, my inner sense wants to take. That, that little attendant in there that was uh, just that, that took my money and gave me my coffee, she's wearing a rainbow mask, which you know what the rainbow stands for. It was perverted by the American left to mean LGBTQ. And in every sense, that means that she's for that absolutely filthy lifestyle of homosexuality and my brain said, have a snarky comment. But then came the word of God that says, no, treat those whom you don't agree with, with respect and dignity. You know, the Bible doesn't say that word for word, but I'm paraphrasing. Do I have any respect for the LGBTQ community? No. Do I have any respect for the Democrat Party in the United States? No, I do not. They stand for everything that is immoral, everything that is against the Holy Bible, everything that is against God's Word. They stand in direct opposition to the Lord our God. So no, I can't support Democrats, I can't vote for them. I must vote for Republicans because if I vote third party, then that dilutes the Republican vote, and that mean and splitting the Republican vote means that essentially a vote for a third party is a vote for the Democrats. We must not vote the Democrats back in. Now, do you understand why? Never mind the economic uh, problems that they cause every time they get in office. And this time, the, the highest inflation since the Great Depression in, in the 1930s. Economic, economic hell is what they've caused with their green policies. But besides that, the absolute immorality of everything that they preach that the entire Democrat Party platform stands for. We are talking about homosexuality in, in thrust in every aspect of society. They even uh, pushed that woke mentality on our military. Now instead of military readiness, to prepare our people to fight a savage war, instead of creating warriors, we have a bunch of woke sissies now that are more worried about equality. And I and, and yes, I'm taking equality and mocking it because their idea of equality is to put the filth and the disgusting people up in charge so that they can push more filth 
and disgusting behavior upon regular Americans and the rest of our troops. What do we have? The military turned into a brothel? God will surely punish this country, and maybe he is now, by allowing the leadership that we have. Do not vote Democrat. Stop it. They're more worried about putting people of color and of different races and different cultures in charge than they are their qualifications for the jobs that they get in. Wokeness is more important to Democrats than substance. And their green policies, oh, let's save the planet. Meanwhile, we'll throw the United States into economic depression and make life miserable for those on a fixed income, for our veterans, for our wounded soldiers, and God help the poor except that the government helps the poor. They hand the poor so much money in handouts, and where does that come from? The people who are working their butts off 40, 50, 60 hours a week to try and get ahead of this mess. Instead of telling most of the poor that don't want to work to get out and get a damn job. Oh. The left has perverted the United States from a great country that stood up for moral principles to a country that only cares about wokeness and who does not care about its own veterans. It doesn't care about its own uh, working class. God, if you work for a living, I guess you're just a piece of crap because they don't want to give you any, any kind of assistance. You wait, the tax increases are coming. They have to, because they have to pay for all these giveaways. They gotta do it somehow. We have a disaster at the border now. President Trump was stopping them from coming in. What did this administration do? The first opportunity it got. Open the borders, just let these vagrants come in with their drugs, unvaccinated, spreading COVID-19, then they take them in the dead of night and they ship them to places like here in New England and Maryland. Places that were totally white at one point. Now, just so that they can have, uh, how do we say, diversity, they go put these vagrants up there that is with crime, no morals. I mean, after all, they did skip the border and, and didn't care about uh, our laws or they wouldn't have done that. Right? Isn't that how it works? Ah, fuck you all, man. Look at that. I have a little salty language problem. I did 13 years in the United States Navy. When I went in, Ronald Reagan was still president. When I got out, my country didn't exist anymore. Because the left under Bill Clinton destroyed it. And starting from when Bill Clinton was in office, they started politicizing the public schools. They changed the public school curriculum. They got rid of our traditional history classes. Less emphasis on math and science. More, in, more emphasis on bullshit. They started teaching when Obama got in. They started teaching homosexuality as, as a required course in sex education. Talk about an abomination. Planting that seed in those little children's heads. The Democrat Party is the most evil institution in the United States. It needs to be outlawed. They act like a band of terrorists. They need to be outlawed. The members round it up and beheaded. Seriously. We need to get rid of the left and all its woke ideology. 
no excuse for this. This is not what the United States was intended. Our founding fathers must be spinning in their graves. I'd have them lined up and shot, starting with Nancy Pelosi. Joe Biden? Nah, we wouldn't kill him. Just put him in an institution until his day comes. The rest of the leftists, the terrorists. Treat him as we would any other terrorist. Notice I haven't mentioned Donald Trump. You know, while Donald Trump, I believe, did a lot of good for this country, he is a pig. He's a moral degenerate. And no, he should not be the next president of the United States. He should never be allowed anywhere near a political office again. He should be banned from running anywhere. In fact, they should put him in prison for all of the graft and all the all the problems in his personal life. He is a crook in any in every respect. But he didn't do a bad job as president. Not even in that last year. And while Joe Biden and the Democrats want to take credit for the vaccinations, the fact is if Donald Trump hadn't put those vaccinations on the fast track to development, he wouldn't have had them. So, you know... The lies just continue from the left. You turn on the news, and with the exception of Fox News, which is kind of wishy-washy these days, Newsmax, which is generally right on target, and I won't go with OANN because that's basically Trump's thing, and I don't believe that either. But with the exception of those three, every other news outlet on there, and I, you know, uh, we're talking about ABC, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, Bloomberg, all of them reside on the left. And all the others that I haven't even mentioned. Really, Fox and Newsmax are the only ones who report any truth. The rest of them, it's all left-wing propaganda. It's no wonder people are misled. It's no wonder people hate Donald Trump so bad. Donald Trump was not a bad president. Did he mock some disabled people? Yup. Did that make him a bad man? Yes, personally he's a pig. But no. You know what he did? His reaction was exactly that one that most people in private would do. It's just you can't do it in public. You know, if somebody asked a stupid question, you know, it'd be like, yeah, good, 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 dumbass, don't ask that question, good. You know, maybe, maybe most of us on a job site would go behind his back and go, yeah, dumbass. No, it's not polite and you don't do it in public, but that's what the president did. And it wasn't right to do it in public, but he did it. It doesn't mean that we villainize him for the rest of his life. If he had said, I'm sorry, I was a little over the top, maybe people would have kind of given him a pass. I don't know. But my main topic today is Ukraine, and I want to know why. Why is the United States not stepping in and doing more? We're going to let those people get overrun by the by the Russians. And they will make excuses saying, well, our hands were tied. We can't risk nuclear war. Okay. When he goes into Poland next year, are you going to say the same thing? Are we going to let Putin have Poland like we let, like we let uh, Hitler have Poland back in, in the 1940s? We're letting history repeat itself. What a disgusting turn of events. Here, let's listen to Mark Simone. Uh, ...on this video. Hey, and also take a look at this. 
the day before the iPhone came out, this is what a smartphone looked like. Look at the difference. You, this will bring back some memories when you see the smartphone you used to carry. Uh, it's all on the webpage. Go to and wor.com slash mark. 710wor.com slash mark. This is the WOR Movie Minute with film critic Joe Newmeyer. Superhero fans often want comic book characters to feel like they did when they first appeared. And that's the case with this weekend's The Batman. Yes, another film about the guy who dresses like a flying mammal to stop criminals seems like it can't be that original. But The Batman absolutely feels like the dark, brooding detective first seen in 1939 as he investigates political assassinations carried out by a creepy guy who loves riddles. But there's no giggles in this shadowy Gotham City. This is a gritty movie that feels more like a film noir serial killer flick. Though the Batmobile is here, as is Catwoman, a mobster nicknamed Penguin, and some very intense action. As for Bruce Wayne, he's played by Robert Pattinson as a haunted vigilante just starting out with crime busting. At three hours long, this is an epic movie that feels like no previous Cape Crusader flick, which helps earn the Batman five stars. With the WOR Movie Minute, I'm Joe Newmeyer. Hey, if you're looking for the best deal, on the highest quality bed sheets. Look no further than my pillows, Giza Dream Sheets. They're on sale right now as low as $39.99. Only at mypillow.com. Go to mypillow.com, click the radio listener special, and use the promo code WOR. You can get 60% off any set of my pillows, Giza Dream Sheets. Now my pillow is uh, they've been a victim of cancel culture, so they're not in the chain stores anymore. But what they want to do is pass along huge savings right to you. Giza cotton, that's the best cotton for sheets. Soft, breathable, makes you, keeps you cool and comfortable all night long. Right now you get 60% off with the promo code WOR. They get a 10-year warranty and 69 money back guarantee. So right now, get the Giza Dream Sheets, 60% off. Just go to MyPillow.com, click the radio listener square, and use the promo code WOR. It's Dr. Lederman speaking with Jean about her breast cancers. They all suggest the same thing, that I needed to get the surgery, I needed to get radiation and chemotherapy. But she didn't want chemo and she didn't want surgery. Did anyone offer you those options? No. What did you think? I thought, well, that would be great if it worked. You came to us learning that you could, if you wish, avoid the surgery, avoid the chemo, exactly. and you chose that. You're still on the left breast, and then you had our radiation on the right breast. And what was the difference? Well, I didn't have any burning. I had nothing. I couldn't believe it. I had a very good experience being here. Power stick to a budget. But if gambling becomes a problem, call 1 888 789 7777, a toll free 24 7 confidential helpline, or go to Your life, your hope, your passions, these things are none of our business. Your baby monitor research, if you're using too much diaper cream, and whatever you were searching for at 1.15 a.m., that's really none of our business. Because your life is private, and unlike other tech companies, we think your internet should be too. Oh, how old are they? Oh, that's none of our business either. Protect your privacy online for free with DuckDuckGo. DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. Make the switch and find Chris Salcedo. Yeah, make the switch. Every week afternoon, Chris is on Newsmax. Chris gives you the big news without the big spin. Millions are tuning into Newsmax to watch Chris and the team on cable, on streaming, on their apps, all of that, or any of it. It's up to you for the really big news. You go to Newsmax. Every day, Chris Salcedo exposes the fake news. This week, he exposes Joe Biden's real role in the Ukraine disaster in the dangerous days ahead with China and with Iran. Find the Chris Salcedo Show every weekday afternoon on Newsmax and discover why millions of cable viewers are making the switch to Newsmax. It's now the fourth highest rated cable news channel and the fastest growing news network in America. So make the switch. Newsmax on all major cable systems. Download the Newsmax app on your phone and watch it there whenever you want. Make the switch today to Newsmax. Hey, uh, you and I are here. I know Professor Little is...
to directly address and confront our speaker on some of the views that he has expressed. And there is a Q&A built in where I would hope to hear from as many of you as possible. It is... What's the policy for allowing race to come on camera? Say a bunch of spoiled brats at the University of California as they shut down Ilya Shapiro who was set to speak. This is the Shapiro's um, Shapiro remains sanguine about confrontation. It's too bad that a heckler's veto prevailed here, but I'd welcome the opportunity to return to Hastings or anywhere else to discuss the Supreme Court, constitutional law, and other areas where I may have some expertise. Isn't Shapiro's first run-in with the uh, Black Law School, law school um, Association at a meeting between Georgetown Law, BLSA, and the Georgetown Law Administration, activists demanded Shapiro's ouster, as well as reparations in the form of free food and a place to cry in early February. I'm not kidding. That is all real. 860-522-9842. What's your reaction to this? Let's go right to the phones. Dave in Newington. Dave, what's going on? Yeah, I think the, the solution to this problem is pretty easy. Somebody, somebody invited this person, and they, so they, some, some, a group of people want that person there. What I would do, if possible, I and mean, that's the operative word, if possible, I would say, okay, you're, you can attend this thing, but understand that if you shout out, if you're disruptive, you will be removed from the room. Now, you said something before about, or one, one, one young lady got into the stage, started clapping, and the rest do it, I started saying, you know, pay it, tell it to her face. I would have removed her, and, and the, the thing about it is if you want to kill a snake, you remove the head. If you have to remove three quarters of the room, that's okay. And again, make, make, the, uh, make the statement, make the publication, you will be removed, and do it. And couple, three times, four times, five times, that happens. But Dave, the, you know that the administration are complete cowards. Even though there are kids in that lecture hall who actually want to hear the speaker, so they're getting screwed in all this. Well, no doubt, no, but you're talking about a group, a segment of the population that's, that's been entitled and spoiled cupcakes. I just yep. had a 20-year-old stepdaughter that falls into that category, and you can't come up with anything, okay? Not a thing. She's got it all figured out. Oh. You know, I, I've got 53 years on the planet. I'm, a, I'm an 80 veteran. Okay. Well, you have a lot to learn from, from the 20-year-old, I guess. Dave, i got to go to the news. Great call, my friend. I'm from the WTIC News Talk 1080 News. And now, a WTIC News update. 11.30 on for temperature, 39 degrees. I'm Morgan Kenny, MWTIC 1080 News. Russian fighting in Ukraine continues in the second week. This from correspondent Deborah Rodriguez. Protesters in the Ukrainian port city of Melitopol yelling at armed Russian troops to go home. Ukrainian officials say invading forces now surround a major port city on the Black Sea, and they've captured another, Kherson. Correspondent Chris Livsay spoke to Terles Mikhailko, who owns a brewery that switched from making craft beer to craft ballistics. I see you with the Molotov cocktail, and I see the Russians with tanks. It feels like David and Goliath. Actually, we have uh, World War III here now, in 20, 21st century, and we stand against a huge army, but we will stand to the last. The UN says one million people have now fled Ukraine. U.S. Senator Chris Murphy offers his assessment where things stand overseas. The Ukrainian resistance is much more significant and serious than the Russians uh, had anticipated, and their performance is much worse than they had anticipated. Um, and so that has meant that you know, they are behind on their timetable, especially in the north, where they you know, hit a lot of difficulty moving uh, trucks and, and convoys. But Murphy still tells WTIC's Brian and company this morning Russians still have the overwhelming force. Crude oil prices are at their highest in nearly a decade, up over $100 a barrel. That's trickling down to the gas pump and two consumers who heat their homes with oil. For now, of course, uh, Connecticut Energy and Marketers Association President Chris Herb says that supply is not the issue. If you got a delivery recently, you may miss this whole run up in prices. That's the good news. You know, a, a portion of our customers bought contracts prior to the season and are completely immune to this run up in prices from a home heating oil perspective. He says Wall Street speculators tend to drive up prices based on what may happen. On the flip side, Herb says that any disruptions in supply 
As the result of Russia's Ukraine's hostilities will drive prices higher at the gas pump, with refineries also producing the more expensive summer gasoline blends. The price per gallon of regular gasoline in Connecticut at the moment is $3.84, according to AAA. Stakeholders testified at a public hearing today on measures ranging from a statewide property tax to establishing a capital gain surcharge. Rob Burrill is president of District 1199 SEIU Healthcare Union. We have a historic opportunity in this state based on the amount of revenue that's coming in, the rainy day fund, and of course the, with the leadership that you're showing uh, for folks on, on the lower end of the tax scale, an opportunity to put money into people's pockets. Republicans are calling for a reduction in the state sales tax to 5.9 percent for real testified before the finance revenue and bonding committee fog leads to a few deaths on a busy stretch of highway highway patrol officers in florida say at least three people were killed in five separate crashes on a foggy stretch of i-95 in volusia county early this morning lieutenant kim montez so early to tell what happened who started this we did have a couple of semis catch fire and completely burned down they say several people including children were rushed to hospital Correspondent Deborah Rodriguez. Ever wonder what kind of passenger is the most annoying on a plane? Correspondent Diane King Hall fills us in. A recent survey from travel site Only Wanderlust pinpointed the most pesky plane passengers. The seat kicker took the top spot. Having bad body odor and talking loudly were also high on the annoyance list. Another sky high headache sitting behind the infamous seat reclining passenger. Wall Street is lower at the moment. The Dow is slipping 128 points. S&P 500 is 23 points in the red. And the NASDAQ is down 154 points. For these stories and more, find us at WTIC.com. I'm Morgan Cunningham, WTIC 1080 News. I'm Jim Feldman from the WTIC Brown Payne Dearison Scott Traffic Center. This report is sponsored by Skyview Network. Route 2 on the westbound side. You may hit delays between exit 13 and exit 8. Right lane construction until about 4 o'clock today. You may also hit delays on I-84 eastbound between exit 58 and exit 59 on East Hartford. Construction there too, but it's two lanes that are blocked. And watch for road work westbound after exit 33, then again after exit 23. Also road work on the Aragone Bridge both ways of Route 66 in the right lane. Southbound Route 9 construction after after exit 23, then more construction southbound on Route 9 after exit 7. Closure continues on Route 83 between Rachel Road and Tudor Lane in Manchester. Down poles and a down wire that were knocked down this morning. The repair work there continues to block everything. That's a look here at WGIC Traffic. I'm Jim Felton. Traffic is brought to you by CapeCodFence.com. When it's time to get the kids outside, Cape Cod Fence Company in Canton has the best inventory of play sets in Connecticut. A large selection in stock and ready to install. From the monkey tower to the lion's tower, Cape Cod Fence Company. Visit CapeCodFence.com. Local weather, WTIC's Bob Cox. It's a windy day across the area with a mixture of sun and clouds. Temperatures into the 30s to around 40, although it will tend to turn colder during the mid to late afternoon. Readings falling into the teens tonight. The skies become clear. Uh, some single numbers in the uh, northern hills by dawn. It's still kind of breezy into early tonight, then wind speeds coming down overnight. Friday looks sunny with highs in the 30s. Mostly clear tomorrow night, lows 15 to 25 degrees. And we'll have an increase in clouds during the day Saturday with highs getting into the low 40s. I'm meteorologist Bob Cox in the WTIC weather center. Worried about what you're breathing in? With each breath, allergens, germs, and viruses can get trapped in your nose. Now there's a simple and effective way to clean your nose and protect your health. It's called Navage. Navage. Available at Navage.com. This is a Bloomberg Business Update on WTIC. News Talk 1080. Sponsored by UHY LLP. Certified Public Accountants. Less than one quarter of high school students believe the university admissions process is fair. A survey by bestcolleges.com found 44% say schools should take steps to help underserved populations pursue higher education. And almost the same number want colleges and universities to be transparent about applicants, admissions, and enrollees to encourage fairness. Apple is preparing for its first product unveiling of 2022 next week, kicking off what is expected to be its biggest year ever in terms of new devices. At the March 8th event, Apple will announce the first low-cost iPhone SE with 5G capabilities, a new iPad Air, and updated Macs with the tech giant's own chips. With consumer prices skyrocketing in general, coffee futures have fallen to an eight-week low. 
That may be a sign that bottlenecks are easing ahead of harvesting in Brazil, the world's largest supplier of coffee beans. While traders assess the impact the Russian invasion will have on demand, the price of coffee beans favored by Starbucks has jumped 71 percent. I'm Ann Cates, Bloomberg Business for WTIC News Talk 1080. Covington, Masvidal, the rivalry will be renewed this Saturday night, and FanDuel Sportsbook is making things even more exciting, as always, by offering new customers 30 to 1 odds on either fighter. That's right. You could win $150 on a $5 bet. Sign up for FanDuel Sportsbook using promo code TODD. Pick your fighter and get ready to win big. Producer Anthony. Betting the UFC on FanDuel is always a thrill, and it is no different with this covington Masvidal matchup. Parlay every single fight. Pick rounds and knockouts. Get in there. Check out your options only on FanDuel. Don't miss your chance to cash in on one of the biggest fights of the year. Sign up for FanDuel Sportsbook using promo code TODD. 21 plus and present in Connecticut. New users only. $10 first deposit required. Must wager in designated offer market. Maximum bonus $150. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat. This year, the time is right to create happy memories in the home you love. Starting with Serta Pro Painters. They're ready to beautify and protect the space you live in. Treating every wall to a colorful new coat of paint for you to enjoy. They'll handle every detail, prepping and painting until the job is done, and we see that smile on your face. Go to certapro.com and get a free estimate today. Serta Pro Painters. That's Serta with a C. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. Leaving everything to your kids might sound simple, but it isn't. If you want to learn how to leave assets to your family, tune in for this week's edition of The Legal Exchange with Todd Lutsky, this Sunday at 9.30 a.m. on WTIC News Talk 1080. The 74th Annual Connecticut Home and Remodeling Show is back at the Convention Center in Hartford, March 4th through the 6th. Speak to hundreds of local professionals in every home improvement category. Sponsored by Renewal by Anderson, Valley and Aetna Building Products, Liberty Bank, By Carrier Builders, NJM Insurance Group, Calcaney Real Estate, and Connecticut Lighting Centers. You'll miss Connecticut's premier home show, March 4th through the 6th. Visit cthomeshow.com for tickets and details. Brian Jackman here for Go Rascal. You probably know Connecticut home values are way up, and it's a great time to cash out your home equity with Go Rascal. Go Rascal's new breed of mortgage, and they have an all-digital platform, lower rates, no junk lender fees. It's just, honestly, it's a refreshing alternative to all the old school banks. Go Rascal can help you tap that home equity today. You can get a check for 50 or 60 grand, pay up all your credit cards, use it to remodel your kitchen, whatever. And if you do it now, Go Rascal. We'll even pay your closing costs. And listen, you can even skip one or two house payments in the process. Go Rascal beats the banks just about every single day. And they can also do new home purchase loans with no closing costs. Call now because rates are starting to go up. Call 860-996-8610 or go to GoRascal.com. It's an easy name to remember. Go Rascal, 860-996-8610, 996-8610. 860 Equal housing lender, NMLS 2072896. Not all loans apply subject to lender approval. students at the University of North Texas. We've also been talking about Ilya Shapiro, who has been shouted down at University of California at Hastings Law School. And uh, yeah, the, the left is happy to do whatever they can. And in, in, in political um, Democrats love this. They say freedom of speech is, it means that it's protection from the government. Well, sure, but also shouting down and bullying and, and shutting the shutting down of free discourse is something that you should not be for. But they said hateful things about the trans community. Well, he's got a son who's uh, a wife, so they're divorced, it has, is putting, is transitioning their child and he's against it and he's concerned. It's violence against us, please. 860-522-9842. As we said, this uh, Ilya Shapiro, who's one of the guys getting yelled at, 
Activists demanded Shapiro's ouster as well as reparations in the form of free food in a place to cry in early February. Yep. That group who shut him down said the creation of a committee of diverse student representatives must be made to be part of the on-campus speaker approval process. Well, fuck those That's people. right. They want a tribunal in there, in other words, to deal with this so that there is nobody with divergent thought, so that all these radicals can rule the, uh, rule the lecture halls. Let's go back to you, 8605 nope. 229842. Nope. Round them what's up, going on put them in the same Jim, and what's that? Jim, what's going on? Sickos. Well, I think first the colleges have to either implement policies of decorum if they aren't, don't already have them in place. If they do have them in place, they obviously need security Sickos. in order to enforce uh, decorum. Maybe that's something that should be taught to the children. And they are children still at that age, in my opinion. Uh, oh yes, that you know any any discourse uh, uh, that veers off the policy of decorum, you know you'll be removed. Obviously, they could also ticket, make sure that everyone has a ticket to get into these things rather than have them be a free for all. Uh, you know, know again, that they're you know that they're scared to do that, of course. Well, they've been allowed to do that. You know, they've been yeah. shouted down from the outside and, and and have been scared to do that, but. Other than that, I mean, it's, it, it, if you don't have uh, uh, disagreements, you know, on campus, then you're not really learning anything in, in college in the first place. But there has to be decorum, and there, there, you know, other than other than Parliament in the UK, where they don't seem to have any decorum rules in Parliament, um, they need to enforce the rules they have. I think, moreover, that a lot of these issues could be uh, eliminated at the source where anytime that someone's going to be running for an appointed position that any applications that come to either the president or congress or anyone uh that they should be anonymous in terms of the person's name their race nationality <laughs> and should only be listing their qualifications and that way no one is eliminated be they white black hispanic uh asian uh or maybe the uh, uh i don't know well, Jim, that's a whole nother universe that we're, that battle is just starting now, isn't it? Well, of course, but, you know, there's always a solution to actually want. Yeah. But also, Jim, but I, you know, you've got these young people, and you would think that if you're going to college, this is the time you need to learn about critical thinking. This is the time where you open your mind and you follow the truth to where it leads. So the idea that they become rigid, radical ideologues out right out of the box, which I assume started in high school or their family Absolutely. dinner. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's such a waste of time. So what they've learned to be rude jerks and yell at people who are educated people who have come to, to you know have a dialogue with them. What a waste. They haven't been educated on decorum either at the family level or uh, high school or even even in during uh you know the first days of college where you know uh there's a, a list of things that are uh acceptable and a list of things that are not well they don't they don't do that either so right well they're well they believe that they're young and they're important and they're the new generation and they're the stars of the show now and they get to be aggrieved and they get to uh act melodramatic and they feel important for once Somebody should stomp on them and say, you're not important. You need to sit down and shut up and listen because you know nothing. You know nothing. Yes, I can't Thanks, Jim. agree with that at all. Take care, man. Thank you. There's Jim Linson. 860-522-9842 is the number. We'll go to Steve in Torrington. Steve, what's going on? Tom, I, I feel like we're, uh, we're going to the battle that's already destroyed the city and taken all the citizens of the city captive and there's actually no one there anymore to even fight. Um, well, my fear is that there are uh, captives in these cities still and we're trying to at least, uh, you know, make things better for them. And that's what these groups are bringing these speakers in. A lot of speakers aren't even controversial, but if they diverge at all from the doctrine, they get shouted well, at. I'm, not, I'm not sure if we're being successful. We need, we need to be spending more time in places that aren't totally infected with this type of mindset. Colleges that maybe don't have uh, the, the famous names uh, where kids go and, and 
parents can still afford to pay the 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 cost of, of sending their kids to school. It might not be any of these big name colleges anymore. They're, as far as I'm concerned, they're done. They're wasted. Uh, we're 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 fighting a battle that's that's been over with for years. Completely agree with you. Completely agree with you. Agree with you. And, you know, I hear a bunch of my friends have uh, kids who go to, to uh, nursing school. And to me, that's college. There you go. You get real-time training for a real job where there's a big market. You're not learning, uh, you know, the lesbian dance theory. You're learning how to be a nurse. You know, it's a tangible thing. And have you ever heard of Sienna? Sienna College at Albany, New York? Yes. Well, I was just listening to a show this morning about how that college is taken over by corporate sponsors and the people that went there and graduated there who have, are sending their kids now don't have recognized the college because the college has nothing of the traditions or the or the or the history or the anything that that college resembled earlier while they were going there and that that's the same story all over our country and I feel we need to draw the lines of battle and bring ourselves back where we can collect ourselves and start again and, and influence oh, yeah. people who want to listen, not try to hold people down and force them to listen because it just, that's just a waste of time. Absolutely. And you see, what was the, uh, what was the, the effect at Siena College? What was the... The, the effect of the, uh, Siena College is that college has gone to the corporate elitist. And if you want to go there, you throw the mark of whatever their philosophy is or don't bother going there. I assume that that's a woke philosophy. Well, it's one where everyone has to be vaccinated. Uh, you can't go there unless you're vaccinated. Um, you have to believe, you know, all this crap about why we're being vaccinated. I, I was wondering, this is a little off the subject, yeah. but yesterday a caller called in about a, uh, a, a publication called uh, Frontiers of Virology, and it talked about how three years before this uh, pandemic even started or anything to the knowledge of COVID-19 started, there was a... Uh, a study done on the DNA uh, uh, pieces that had been patented by uh, Moderna, which is found in these vaccinations and, and also found in these in the COVID-19. Yeah. So, so Moderna probably has their tentacles in all the colleges that have anything to do with medicine. And right. Moderna China, China is, has, has their is totally all over the place. in bed with, with China. I, I mean, they all are. They're all in bed with China because it's a huge marketplace. So Moderna, Pfizer, everybody. 860-522-9842. We'll get all your calls when we get back. We are talking about colleges where this insanity has ensued. We have people, um, you know, just just torturing speakers who simply are trying to educate kids or enlighten kids or at least, you know, give a point of view to kids. Yep. Shouting them down. Congratulations, parents. Finding a great candidate for the hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first... A lot of these Stores in Braintree, Woburn, Shrewsbury, and now open on Route 1 in Sharon. Call 781-E43-6666 to place your order from pickup or next day delivery. Or order online at nextdaymolding.com. Next Day Molding Doors and Stairs. Boston's largest in-stock selection of moldings, boards, and stair parts. Non-attorney spokesperson ad sponsored by Open Jar Concepts. Attention veterans and active duty military. If you were issued earplugs between 2002 and 2016 and were diagnosed with hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be entitled to compensation. The manufacturer of these military earplugs recently paid $9.1 million to resolve claims that their earplugs were defective, potentially exposing service members to damaging sound levels that could have resulted in hearing loss or tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued earplugs and were diagnosed with tinnitus or hearing loss, don't wait. 
You fought for this country, and our attorneys want to fight for you. Call 800-511-2298 now for a free legal consultation and to see if you may be eligible to file a claim. Time restrictions may apply, and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. So call 800-511-2298 now. Again, 800-511-2298. That's 800-511-2298. It's 11.53. We check your ride right on time here with Kevin. The Subaru retailers of New England all-wheel drive traffic on the threes, if you please. All right, Lori, up to the north we go here in Saugus, Route 1 northbound, right at Main Street. We've got the right lane taken for utility work there. That's got uh, traffic back to Essex Street, so if you're coming up through that area, stay to the left to get around just a little quicker. After that, you're okay heading up into the Linfield Tunnel. Up in Haverhill, 495 northbound, you got the left lane closed today up by the uh, Ward Hill Connector. That's what exits 1T7, uh, no, Route 10, uh, exit 106, 495 north, just after 106 Ward Hill. Industrial Ave. You got that left lane taken, so watch out for some minor delays there. Now, south of town seems to be our heaviest stuff here. 24 northbound. The left lane's taken for work today after Route 44 in Raynham. You solid back three miles here, right back to Route 140. It's going to take you about 10, 15 minutes to get through that backup. And Route 140 northbound is also quite heavy getting through the work zone here after Stephen Street in Taunton. If you're coming down Route 3 southbound, you've got a little over a mile backup approaching work crews after 139 here, Pembroke, heading down towards Route 14 in Duxbury. This report is sponsored by WhatsApp. No one should read your personal messages, and that's why WhatsApp uses end-to-end -end encryption. It protects whatever you send before, during, and after you send it. So no one, not even WhatsApp, can read your messages. Always message privately, WhatsApp. Kevin Brennan, WBZ's Traffic on the Three. All right, Kevin, let's get right to AccuWeather's Dean DeVore. It is going to be blustery and feel much colder this afternoon with temperatures only uh, in the 30s all day with some flurries when the clouds are out, some sunny intervals too, and we'll see temperatures drive all the way down into the single digits and teens tonight. Tomorrow, a little bit 30s with some sunshine and then back into the 40s Saturday. Rain showers Saturday night with temperatures rising. And then we're looking at temperatures all the, all the way up into the upper 50s, almost 60 it looks like on Sunday with some showers early, maybe some sunny breaks in the afternoon. I'm Aki with the Meteorology Scene DeVore, WBZ, Boston's News Radio. In Boston right now, it's 36. No matter the weather, it's a perfect day to consider getting a COVID-19 booster as recommended by the CDC. Brought to you by BioNTech and Pfizer. A new warning in Massachusetts today after a contagious avian flu is detected in wild birds here. We have been reporting on Maine, two cases there. Well, it's now in the Commonwealth. And the State Department of Agricultural Resources says farmers here should take steps to protect their free-range poultry, including potentially moving them indoors. Owners are also asked to keep an eye out for early signs of any illness. Ice hockey has always been seen as a dangerous sport, and now a new study supports that, according to CBS's Naomi Ruckham. Playing additional years of ice hockey may be linked to a greater chance of CTE, a chronic degenerative brain disease. A new study out of Minneapolis showed that each additional year of playing ice hockey increased an athlete's chance of developing the condition by 23%. The study included players at various levels, from youth to high school, college, and professional athletes. Again, CTE is a degenerative brain disease that you heard there linked to the repetitive head impacts that athletes get from playing contact sports. He gave the green light or produced some of the most loved motion pictures of all time. Longtime Hollywood executive Alan Ladd Jr. has died. More from CBS's Peter King. Alan Ladd Jr. was involved with more than a dozen Best Picture nominees, but his biggest statement was that wasn't. Director George Lucas told the American Film Institute that he pitched an idea to Ladd that his classic American graffiti was coming out. He said, I love this movie, it's very talented, and what do you want to do? And I said, well, I'm trying to get this space around. Uh, and he said, okay, well, I'll, you know, I'll fund the, the screenplay. That film, of course, was Star Wars. Ladd's daughter has announced his death on her Facebook page. Alan Ladd Jr. was 84. 
Peter King, CBS News. As several major wireless companies announce they will phase out 3G service to create room for the more advanced 4G and 5G service, millions of car owners may feel the impact. WBZ-TV's Christina Retz talked to a local guy. Scott Egan of Groveland recently noticed hiccups in his 2013 Jeep. The car's Uconnect system works only sometimes. For me, it means features all the way from traffic navigation updates all the way to the SLS system in case of emergency not functioning anymore. Scott was surprised when he discovered what was causing those spotty issues in his car. As it turns out, as many major wireless companies phase out 3G to create room for more advanced technology, it'll affect more than just your cell phone, but many popular car features as well. The cars of a certain year, let's just say from 2015, uh, and older came standard built into it what was called 3G capability. All right, we will check your ride coming up next at noon. The new news is next. We don't hear the radio ads about the IRS. They tell you to be afraid, to be scared, and they try to frighten you into calling. I'm not here to do that. Tax Relief Advocates is different. TRA is here to tell you that if you owe money to the IRS, whether it's 5000 50000 or 500000 we have a solution. It doesn't matter if you're sitting in your car, at work, or with your kids. No matter where you are, call now. 800-530-9353. Don't lose hope. TRA can eliminate or reduce what you owe to the IRS. There is zero risk to you. If we can't reduce your tax debt, then you pay nothing. Our passion is taxes and helping individuals fix their IRS problems. We have a five-star rating on Google and Yelp and an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. You don't need to be afraid of the IRS any longer. End your tax nightmare today by visiting us online at TRA.com or call 800-530-9353. That's 800-530-9353. Tax Relief Advocates, real solutions for real people. Switch to a health care plan awarded five out of five stars for quality and service. A plan from United Healthcare. Get benefits like vision, dental care, and more. Call United Healthcare today at 1 800 SHOP UHC. Benefits features are devices served by plan and area. Limitations and exclusions apply. Every year, miss. And based on a five star rating system. Medicare Advantage plan star rating applies to contract numbers H0294, H2001, H2226, H3794, H4590, H5500, 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 H5500,
Roughly 100 supporters of Ukraine, many with families still there, gathered at a candlelight vigil in Needham. Many of them don't believe that there's a war. Many of them believe that they are going to free the Ukrainians from the Ukrainian government, when in fact that is not true. The thing that I find most devastating about this conflict is that it's brothers fighting brothers. We share language, we share culture. Um, this is really a war that people did not choose. The women speaking with WBZ TV, another Needham resident fighting back tears so the war doesn't just affect a land far away, it hits right here at home. COVID case numbers at home are now the lowest they've been since last summer, August. 907 new cases, 401 hospitalizations, 35 deaths in Massachusetts. With masks off now in most places, should we be worried? UMass Memorial Medical Center's Dr. Robert Klugman tells BZTV. So, I mean, if everybody rips their mask off and goes whoopee and goes around and gets very close to other people, we could see another little blip, but it won't be a major surge like we had. Boston rips off the mask Saturday, one of the last holdouts to holding on to the indoor mask requirement. That includes the TD Garden. It's loud, it's 3 a.m., and it's not a party. <laughs> Residents are fed up. We'll tell you what that is next, right now, 1203. Maybe you're getting cranky. Maybe you're hangry while you're driving in traffic. <laughs> Maybe you're just hangry in general. Kevin Brennan joins us right now with the Subaru Retailers of New England all-wheel drive traffic on the threes. Well, you're definitely seeing red if you're coming up 24 northbound. It's all brake lights, though, here. Jammed up soon after Route 140 in Taunton, all the way up to the left lane close.